Irwin, when people listen to those first five cultural trends, they would agree with you, many of them, that this is where it seems like we're headed and it does look like it's irreversible, it's only gonna get worse. So now what's the good news here? Well, the good news is, you remember the words of Jesus when he said, fear not, little flock, it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. You know, I think sometimes as Americans, what we need to do, John, is to step back and to ask ourselves, have believers been in situations like this before? And what you discover is that freedom of religion is a new idea, the American experiment. When you look through Europe, you discover there was no freedom of religion. There was no freedom of religion for the early Christians. They were thrown to the lions. We all know that story. And then after the time of Constantine, when uh, Rome was Christianized, the opposite happened. The pagans were persecuted, and oftentimes so were true believers persecuted. So when you look through the history of uh, the church, you discover that there was very seldom anything that we would interpret as freedom of religion. I mean, I can take you to the Lamotte River in Zurich, where I've stood many times to give a lecture on the drowning of Felix Mons. He was a rebaptizer, believing that one should be baptized upon profession of faith. And for this, he and five others were forcibly drowned in the cold, dark waters of the Lamotte River. And Felix Mons was drowned there. How much freedom of religion did those dear people have? And thousands of rebaptizers died for the faith. And so what we need to do is to understand that uh, the history of the church has always been one of marginalization and persecution. One other historical note that is very uh, interesting to me and very important to me. What people don't realize is that when Luther stood there at the Diet of Worms, and said, my conscience is taken captive by the word of God. I cannot and I will not recant. To go against conscience is neither right nor safe, so help me God. When Luther said that, he was standing against more than a thousand years of church tradition and law. That a single monk could stand against the entire church because his conscience taught him 